anybody can paint a picture using scripture and can paint a picture of reality and truth that looks beautiful, that you just know is true. But there's only one problem. Different people, different groups can paint. Each one of them can paint a beautiful picture of reality that you just know is true. Using scripture to back every point of theirs up. And yet, these beautiful pictures, each reality that you know to be true, are not the same depending upon the person doing the painting. Depending upon the religion or the denomination or group of people that are, are painting their picture of reality. So, like Paul asking Jesus, what is truth? Lord Jesus Christ, are you even real? I'm sick and tired. In fact, I curse God for not validating his name is real. I also call upon God to rebuke the liars, to make the preachers, even, even, I don't care if they're sincere. If you're sincere and wrong, you're sincerely wrong. God said, if you lie in my name, I will kill you. But the prophet that presumed to speak a word in my name, which I have not sent, that even that man, even that prophet shall die. It says in the book, I think, of Deuteronomy. Yeah. Oh, Chris, that's just talking about prophets. But God says that, but the Bible says of God, thou art too pure to behold iniquity. So in every aspect, avenue of God's existence, I expect truth. I expect purity. And I'm not seeing this. And I'm disgusted with you, God. I curse you, God. I curse you. Now we got one denomination that says in your name you cannot lose your salvation. And we got one another denomination that in your name, using scripture, says you can lose your salvation. One group of people say God hates a sinner and they preach this in the name of Jesus Christ. God. Another another person in the name of Jesus preaches God loves you unconditionally. What is truth? Can I get some fucking answers? God, you can go to hell. I, I don't want you to do that. I do or I don't. I don't. I'm just angry at God. I curse you, God. I curse you. You wish you washed, bitch. What's the truth? I wish I called upon God to curse the preachers and the Christians, even the board of Democrats who are wrong, who are preaching lies. I called upon God to come down and cause them to be, be sick, cause their denominations to falter and fail and go out of existence. I call upon expect I call upon God to kill the preachers who are preaching the wrong word in their name. And if I come into a place with a drink and they tell me you can't be here, you can't bring outside drinks into the place. That really fucking pisses me off. Because you just know if I was good looking, they'd, they'd turn the blind eye. Oh, God, oh, Chris, if they do it for one person, they have to do it for everybody else. Oh, you know that's bullshit. Nobody, nobody enforces law equally, not even God. God broke his law. God broke his own law for his bosom buddies, King David, King Solomon. And the Bible says, uh, 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 a Solomon after he was born and the Lord loved him. And God enabled, not only allowed Solomon his multiple wives and never once sent a prophet to rebuke him until long after he was dead. And he, and it, it was Zechariah, it, it, no, it was Nehemiah. And he was not even a prophet. And he said, did not even King Solomon outlandish women cause him to fall? God stoned that poor man. God commanded that man. He was a Gentile. He was not even a Jew. He was not even in the land of Israel. Israel was just passing through and they caught a man picking up sticks on the Sabbath. And God, they put him in prison. 
and asked Moses what to do. And Moses said, and God told Moses, stone him. God killed this man. This man was not even, how, how, how did that man know he was not supposed to be gathering sticks on the Sabbath? He didn't even know about the law. And if you can't claim he did, show me in that Bible where he did. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. The gods of chance and average were frowning upon him, and the real God killed him. And yet King David and King Solomon broke Deuteronomy 17, 17's law. But God commanded, when he, Israel gets the king, he, he is not allowed to multiply to himself wives. He is not allowed to uh, have a bunch of wives. And yet, God not only allowed David and Solomon, he even helped David break God's own law in Deuteronomy 17, 17. He says to the prophet Nathan, I gave you your former master, King Saul's wives, in your bosom. And if that had not been enough, I had, would have more over given you such and such. Jesus, you've given me salvation. You've given me a wonderful family. But Jesus, thank you, but this is not enough. This is not enough. I, I, I got to be a villain guy. I got to have long forms. I got to have this while I'm in my 20s. Do you love King David? Do you love me as much as you do King David? Because if you don't, fuck you, god damn it. Son of a bitch. I don't appreciate playing second fiddle. God breaks his own laws. Look at, look at. God said, Thou shalt not make him to be any graven image. And look at what Moses, when the serpents started biting the people, God commanded Moses to make a bronze serpent and command everybody who looks on the bronze serpent shall live. So God, God's not so interested in his laws. He's flipping with his own laws. God is only concerned about one thing, that you love him with all your heart, soul, mind, being, and that's the, if you love God, God, God will even let you break His own laws. The law, the law, the law ain't, laws ain't shit. Human beings and, and God is greater than in the law. The law is good, just guidelines. The law is not written in stone. I don't give a damn what about what Persia's law was. Persia had a law is if it's written in stone, it has to be followed. Not even a king can break it. I used to think it was so with God, but it's not. God even, God commanded Israel that if a man divorced his wife, he could not go back to her. And yet, through the prophets, God divorced Israel, and God went and took back Israel as their his wife. And he even mentioned his law. And I cursed the Holy Ghost. I curse you, Holy Ghost, if I, if I have a hairline that looks like this, with the, this thin hair that makes me and my veins look retarded. I curse you, Holy Ghost. I curse you, Holy Ghost, if I don't get a hair pen full of hair. I curse the Holy Ghost if I don't get a head full of hair. And keep it. I curse the Holy Ghost. I curse the Holy Ghost if I look little aged.